my can of seltzer so i went like this as if that's the, as if that's a cool thing to do as you start a show hello melinda i think it's cool thumbs up being hello. positive this is vcr party live uh my name is nick this is joe mm -hmm. we host a show live in person at theaters around uh, the uk and in fact we're doing it right now we as are. we speak in where edinburgh edinburgh scotland yeah yeah we're, we're doing that right now this is a pre-tape thing so well we had to because last year we tried to do it from the fringe festival from our backstage we thought yeah. that would be cool the wi-fi i don't know if this is across edinburgh scotland but in our well flat a, where we stayed and our backstage the wi-fi was terrible here's the thing in, in edinburgh i i don't know I, I don't know the exact numbers but i think there's like four hundred thousand people there normally yeah and then august there's like a million and a half people so like yeah. they just like the infrastructure can't support that i and also like, think that we put the venues we play and where we stay are like really old things with concrete walls so yeah anyway we didn't want to have any like problems with the live streaming so we just are pre-taping this in new york before before we head Better out. safe than sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And we wanted to start off like we always do. We're Maybe we'll be commenting right now. I think along. we should like watch. We'll be, on, we'll be on it. We'll be like making some, uh, hey. It'll be know. like three in the morning Scotland yeah. time, but that's generally when we get home yeah. in Scotland. So mm -hmm. um, I think that'd be fun. We can comment yeah. along and make fun of ourselves. So tonight we're excited. We uh, The premise of the show is we watch uh, our collection of videos with you together. And we have 10,000 tapes here. And tonight we uh, have a special guest, John Wilson. Oh, he's my favorite. He's my new favorite. Yeah, and it, oh, he's so good. He's uh, he makes these short films. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. It's it's remarkable. Yeah, he's John's my, he's, he's, movies. He's my yes, yeah, John'sMovies.com. You can watch all of his movies there. He's my current favorite. He's it's really remarkable, and we found out well, we found out a lot of stuff, but it's like the detail and time it goes into making his films is I think. And they're, they feel like found footage. Yes. That's why we're having him on. And he's a liker of nice things. We have a segment on the show it called It feels nice so things. much like nice things. Because he, he, like, I don't want to, uh, we set it up enough yeah. in, the, in the actual interview. So, All right, well, yeah. let's start things off with the Found Footage Festival Classic. This is on our uh, fairly new Greatest Hits DVD, Found Footage Festival, Cherished Gems, which is on Great our, cover. Great cover. Look at those colors. Uh, really pop. By our pal in Liverpool. Yeah. This is... Um, it's cream of the crop. It's yeah. all the best stuff. So, and including a public access clip from our pal Charlie Brown. That's his real name. Yep. Uh, I think he's a Charlie with an E-Y. Yeah. Charlie Brown in... Um, Tucson, Arizona. Tucson. And this was for a 1980s talent show. And they actually would bring people in to audition for this talent, public access talent show. And this is an audition for a woman. This is it an audition? Yeah, this isn't. This didn't air. This oh. Is, this is behind the scenes, um, where. Oh, she, I didn't know that. Yeah, this woman had performing pets. The star was BB Bunny, a trained rabbit, trained rabbit. And well, the show's called BB Bunny, right? Yeah, it's about BB Bunny. But also, she has a dog, and she had some other pets with her. And um, I thought we'd just watch a little bit of BB Bunny in action. We've never shown as much footage as I'm going to show of BB Bunny, but. There's BB. Wait, is there audio? Yeah, oh, I shit. Think, I think okay. you might have muted it. Don't forget your phone. Oh, you blame it on me, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Apologies. Yeah, so let me, uh, just no. so you know, we had it here. Huh? Yeah, I know. You had it here, just not live. Do okay. you have you the apology remote? To, apology to me. No, still yes, apology, because we couldn't hear it. We've got too many things that look like it. Bedroom furniture here. Okay, BB has to take the phone off the hood, so he is Mr. Molly Sleepy. And he's going to say his prayers, and then up to bed. Okay. Take that phone off. to say his prayers and off to bed. Don't forget your phone. Take your phone off. Hurry up. Yes, we're waiting for you to take that phone off. <laughs> You're being naughty. Yes, what are you doing? He's being yeah. a rabbit. Okay, now say your prayers. Oh, you got to pray first. There, that's How did they so not pass the audition on this? This is brilliant. Bed. Bed I think she did pass. Use this little ladder, so she got a show. Up. Well, it's not a show. It was a talent competition. It's bedtime. Oh, you um, just hop up there. What's the audition? 
auditioning to get on the show, to get on the talent show. So before the uh, before they could go to air with it, they had to make sure the act was good. And all the way. Did she get on the talent show? I don't know. Let's to talk to Charlie. There you go. Good night, kiss. As if the rabbit knows what a kiss is. Okay, thank you, baby. Turn the chair just a little bit. Right. She was going to eat so it. That, uh, we get, uh, get the front of it. We can see BB lying oh, down. See, we, uh, he's giving. We only get BB parallel at this point. If you oh, just turn, turn the end towards you, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. That's you good. have to stay. They, they want Brown. to get a good picture of you. In oh, bed. that's yeah. wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> now give him the kiss. <laughs> there. Thank you, BB. As if BB knows what a clause is. Oh, this is really raw footage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This oh, is the audition. There's a woman dancing to uh, the flash dance song right before this. They're all trying out. I love this set. Star on the show, little guy. Mm hmm. Yes, now. Chair time. Chair time when we change again. Chair time. Oh. BB. This poor confused rabbit. All right, let me get to it a little bit further. BB gets up in the chair. And then here's the. Okay. I think this is one of BB's you ready? best tricks. Okay. Oh, we include this one. Play your piano. No, I didn't bring your baton today. No, I didn't. So you just have to play piano first. Okay, you want some help? Come on, get up. Yeah, get up there. Some help? Okay, up there. Now, you play. Hurry, play. Come on. You play. Play good. Yeah, that's it. Keep going. Play Come well. On. Play like you played yesterday. Play like you played there yesterday. You go. There, <laughs> There's no concept of time. Oh. There, it's just again. trying to escape. Yeah, you it's really more. just trying to escape this entire again. time. Oh, yeah. yeah, there he is. Get me out of here! I wish I could have had a video of Steve watching this with a really serious expression. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let me get a little bit further because you get to oh, see one, one oh. of her other trained animals wow, here. Wow, I haven't seen any of this footage. We should, this should be in EP mode. We could. We, this could be up for vote. What was the other thing we had there another we idea to vote? Okay, relay race. Wee! Um, I'm sorry, I set you down real bad. Okay, here, I'll sit over here. Give me some running room. Okay, let's go now. Come on. Hurry, hurry, get those jumps. Get huh? those jumps. Oh, Let's go. Southwest. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Get those jumps. Right now. Ring your bell. Oh, oh, oh. You got, got to ring that bell. Oh, that's important. There. What do you see? Ring what, the bell. What animal does Phoebe oh, Bunny's that? mom look no. like? Okay. Some kind of bird. I was going to say ostrich. Yeah. Thank yeah. You, baby. yeah. You're right. Yes, thank you. You mean emu? Oh, okay, then we got yeah. to set up for these. Potentially. <laughs> and uh, eventually, whoever is shooting, there's a second camera, they cut away. Yeah, to our other performing dog wearing a sombrero. <laughs> Poor dog! And uh, he just kind of oh. was expressionless. That's a gif right there. That's yeah, a gif. It is. Oh. And then, yeah, BB goes down a slide that it doesn't want to be on. So that's a little bit of BB Bunny. I forgot the dog's name, but we can watch. Maybe that's an EP mode. This should be. How right. long is the whole video? All told, probably half hour, 20, okay. 20 minutes. So yeah, the EP mode is if you're a patron at the $10 and up level, we watch a long video, and so that could be one of the ones. We yeah, vote on them. So totally worth the $10 a month. Um, so let's see, big announcement. Uh, so Chris Gethard, he's, he's been on our show before. Yeah. He has a new project where he uh, goes down to m and Manhattan Neighborhood, Neighborhood Network. Network, the public access here in, in uh, New York, and he gets to program a bunch of stuff. And when he was on the show, he told us about it. We pitched an idea to him, and he liked it. We're going to uh, do a clip show of our favorite public access. We're going to walk through like public access from all around the country. It's going to be an hour long, exactly. It's going to air on MNN on September 4th, which is a Wednesday. Like late at night, like 10 or 11 p.m., I think. Yeah, but, yeah. but I think that they're also going... Uh, we don't know if they're going out to the web. They, they will are. eventually, but I don't know if they're going to do it live. I think so. I think they are going live. Okay. All right. It's called the Chris Gethard Project. We'll have more information, or you can Google search it. But we have the episode on September fourth, and we're going to be doing yeah all our favorite public access clips from around the mm -hmm. country on public access. Yeah, it's just the perfect thing. Yeah, I don't know. Look up MNN or look up Chris Gethard. I don't know. I don't even know. Chris Gethard Project. Chris, Chris Gethard. His Twitter would probably have all the information. Yeah, yeah. It's it. been yeah, airing yeah. now, and yeah. uh, we will be the September fourth episode. He tried to give us the September eleventh episode, and Luckily, we didn't have to do that. Yeah. So we're doing a, a goofy public act. We'll have special guests. It'll be fun, and we're watching the best public access clips from that we've found in our years of collecting. It's going to be a greatest hits of public access, really. But there's going to be some deep cuts in there. Too, yeah, so. yeah. Um, all right. Oh, okay. Here's another fun thing. So 
since we had John Wilson on, have John Wilson on today. Makes short um, films and stuff. He makes short films. We figured, let's show one of our short films that we've never shown on this show before. This comes from 2002. We were, um, we were both obsessed with McSee at this point. We hadn't started doing found footage at this point. And, uh, McSee is the video we recreated here. If you haven't seen it, it's a, uh, the McDonald's training video I found in the break room of the McDonald's where I worked. Mm -hmm. Started us collecting, and yeah, we would watch this every night. We got obsessed we with it. We knew it inside and out, so we're like, let's make our own version of McSee. Like, let's make a funny version of a, of a company that does not exist, but let's make their training video. So um, we were really ambitious with this. The first time we made it, it was like, it was like 22 minutes long. Then, then we cut it down to 10. And then when we cut it down to 10, we got into South by Southwest with it. And I'm going to show you, we're, we're going to show you the five minute version of, uh, we call it Gas and Fuel Employee Training Video, number 4A, Making It Happen. And I like that all the film festivals we got in with it had to print the entire title. Yep. Yep. Uh, that was <laughs> an extra treat for us. Yeah, so this is the five minute version, and I think we'll, we'll, we'll play this first and then. Uh, and if you've we'll be seen McSee, some of this, you might know kind of what we're referencing. Oh, we but, totally rip it off. But it yeah. basically references all corporate training videos from the 80s and 90s. Exactly. So um, here it is Gas and Fuel Employee Training Video number 4A, Making It Happen. Six is your change. Thank you for choosing gas and fuel. Come again. Oh, hi. I'm Shelly. I'm a crew trainer here at Gas and Fuel. You're in luck. I'm expecting a new trainee any minute now. Ah, uh, excuse me. I'm new here, and I was wondering where I... You must be Chris, our new wide receiver. I'm Shelly. I'll be your coach. Nice to meet you, Shelly. But I'm a bit confused. Coach? Wide receiver? It almost sounds like I'm a member of some sort of team. Exactly. Huh? You see, Chris, here at Gas and Fuel, we are a team. You, me, all of us are working together as a team towards a common goal, making Gas and Fuel the best international oil corporation in the world. I see. And by making the customer happy, I'm scoring a touchdown. Right on the money, Chris. Hey, I'm Bill, the shift manager. You must be the rookie. See you out in the playing field. Wow. <laughs> this team metaphor really makes me feel like I belong. Say, Shelly, if I'm the wide receiver and you're the coach, who's Bill? Probably a linebacker or something. Let's get started, shall we? The key is to keep an eye out for the details. Let's start with the self-serve snack station, the Gas and Fuel Cafe. Everything looks safe here. Not so fast, Chris. Look closer. Aha, the microwave is running unattended. That's right. And there's a can of paint thinner inside. Now let's move to the grocery aisle. Well, I've checked every item on the shelf and everything looks a-okay. <laughs> Lesson number one, dangers aren't always found at eye level. Wow, <laughs> you're right, Shelly. I didn't even notice those rusty nails. And that takes us to lesson number two. Always wear shoes. Got it. <laughs> Say, Shelly, I see what you mean about dangers not always being at eye level. You know, Chris, I think you've got the hang of it. <laughs> Chris, look out. Well, I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> Wait, I know this one. The freezer door is open. Exactly. And if a customer weren't paying attention, they could run right into it. Or if an infant were to crawl in and then some guy walked by and shut the door, that baby could freeze to death in 20, 30 minutes. Uh-huh. Or suffocate. Yeah, I guess that too. Shelly, I'm beginning to see that there's a lot of hidden dangers in the workplace. 
But once I've spotted an unsafe situation, how can I prevent an accident from happening? It all starts with proper maintenance. At the beginning and end of each shift, take a mental survey of the store. Ask yourself, is this store as safe as it can be? Then make time to make it safer. You and your customers will be glad you did. A little maintenance goes a long way toward making gas and fuel hazard-free. There you have it. Soon you two will be making it happen. Right, guys? Right. <laughs> Go team! Wow, yeah. There I haven't seen that for a while. That's like almost exactly what the C ends like yeah. there. 2002, so it's been, wow. Yeah, 17 years now. Yeah. yeah almost 17 years to the day. Because remember, we had trouble finding a gas station that would actually let us shoot. We did, there. yeah. I went, I went around to a million different gas stations, finally found one in White Bear Lake, and this couple owned it, and they had a pizza place in the back, and they're like, yeah, we'd love to. And then, you remember that? Like, Yeah, we, we they, had the run was, of the place. They were so trusting. They let us just like shoot the film out there, and then like, at, like they taught us how to use the, the cash register so we could ring up customers like while we were actually shooting it. And uh, at one point, didn't you card somebody for yeah, cigarettes? Yeah, somebody came in for cigarettes, and I asked for ID because they had trained me how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually, like, they trained me while we were making a fake training video. Yeah. Yeah. And I love, I want to call, call, like shout out Wendy and, and uh, Laverne, who yeah. played Cr uh, Chris. Yep. Uh, they just nailed it. Oh, uh, God. Yeah. And we did auditions, too, actually. We, we, like, we like, auditioned, like, ten people yeah. for that. There's a lot I do differently now, but it, it was for a first short yeah. film. It was a lot of fun. No, we got in South by Southwest, and, yeah. like, that was great. Yeah. It was. It, it was, was fun. Fun to tour with. Yeah. Um, but John Wilson is a master. He makes these short documentaries... Yep. And um, I'm excited to talk to him. Yep. All right, so here's us with John Wilson, um, and it's a special guest show and tell. Hi, John Wilson's here, the filmmaker. Hey, John, thanks for being here. He's hey, my new favorite filmmaker. We like, to shake, hands with, we like yeah. to shake hands with our guests at the beginning. So, um, God, your stuff is my absolute favorite. Uh, <laughs> Nate Truesdale was on, who did Balloon Fest, and he told yeah, us I'll about... Uh, your stuff, and I immediately watched it, and I kept watching, and I sent it around to all my friends, and you're my favorite right now. So thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah. So uh, today we're going to show some of uh, your stuff, and I think the reason that we like it so much is because it's not it's not found footage, but it feels like found footage. Yeah, it it uh, it, it definitely has that quality, uh, and I wanted to maintain that for as long yeah, get, as I get could. Get used to the sounds out there. It's yeah, a, there's a lot of uh, cool activity going on. on, on <laughs> it's a, it's a war right zone now. outside. Yeah, right it's, it yeah. seriously is. Um, but yeah, I, I I feel like it would I, I I'm 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 not surprised it, it speaks to you guys. It, it definitely has that archival quality to it, even though it's it's contemporary. Yeah. And maybe the best way to give people an idea who haven't seen your movies before is to play a little bit of a clip. Let's play it first, then we'll and, ask and you. And then we process then yeah, because I want to hear more about yeah. that. Did so, you transfer them to VHS? I did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 And so uh, this is just a one minute minute and a half clip from um, how to keep smoking. Right. This is the first one yeah, I saw. Yeah, how to keep smoking. How to keep smoking. This is the first one I saw, and I fell in love with you then. Uh, <laughs> and so the love hopefully, affair hasn't stopped. Are you, All right. So here's a clip from How to Keep this Smoking. This might be the only hard copy of this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's preserved forever. A great way to start is to get a job where you can work outside. That's a great way to smoke because you can make money while you do it. If you're walking more than three blocks, that's a great time to have a cigarette. If you're sipping on that second cup. <laughs> have another cigarette. If you just get out of the gym, probably a good time to light up. <laughs> my friend, actually, if you're going on a road oh, this, trip this with your friends in a convertible, one of my favorite make shots. sure everyone has a cigarette every so single, they can take advantage of this awesome cigarette. opportunity. Take advantage of this awesome opportunity. <laughs> uh, if you're at the beach, uh, take a smoke. If you're at a backyard bar with your buds, I feel like my movies a make butt. a lot of people feel. If ill. you're taking a, your baby for a <laughs> walk. 
make sure you have a cigarette. Uh, if you read the paper, mm-hmm. light up. If you read the classic novel outside of a pub. If you find yourself in a new place, light up, take a look around. If you're using a new application, <laughs> that that calls for a that was cigarette. Not city. Oh. If you make a new friend at a bar, this is in New Orleans. Have a, <clears throat> have a few puffs. If you find a great deal somewhere, if you eat a great meal somewhere, if you lose one of your heels somewhere, probably a good time to light up a stove. When you get into a minor <laughs> accident, just take a second, share, share, share a butt. When you're fighting crime, have a cigarette. I love the way you hold it. <laughs> when you're fighting fires, you should also have a cigarette. <laughs> All right, that's uh, how to keep smoking. I think the whole uh, thing is like like nine minutes long or so. That's just like our cut down of it. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a minute, a uh, little bit over a minute. Oh, uh, but you guys have to watch the entire thing. It's so goddamn good. It's hard to so, choose. But the, yeah. <laughs> so uh, tell me about your pro. So what you do is you take all the footage that you shot yourself, bring it back, and do you do you write it first, or do you <coughs> get the footage first and then build something out of the footage? Um, it, it takes about a year to make like around 10 minutes. Um, I'm constantly shooting on the street and, um, like, did you bring a camera with you on this trip or, did you, like, uh, not this trip cause I, I biked here, uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm using a, a kind of a bigger camera now, but for about a decade I was using a camera like about the size of a cigarette box that yeah. you could just carry around everywhere. Oh wow. Okay. Like I should have brought DV? that with me. It was it, it recorded onto an SD card and okay. then and then that shit the bed too many times so I started using DV uh, yeah. because that was some that for some reason like uh, like did not break as easily yeah, yeah. Like, those things were like more tank yeah, like yeah it totally is like yeah. I, I I could use that in crazy like snowstorms and like and <laughs> yeah. you know hurricanes and stuff I like that. I imagine that also had some advantages too because a lot of at least with the clip we watched there's a lot of fly on the wall stuff so catching people who don't know they're being filmed and just yeah. observing their behaviors that you find interesting and to, if they knew if they maybe saw you with a camera you couldn't get those shots? Uh, yeah it's I mean it's somehow preserving that I have I mean there, there's a lot of stuff where people do notice me filming and it just doesn't feel right to me just because th- then they're kind of performing yeah and it, it, it also comes from this desire of, of mine to to see how I look w- when out like when not when, if, if I didn't know I was being filmed I don't really know how, yeah. how I would look <laughs> yeah um, like oh. one of the first things my dad did when he got a family home like a home video camera was film himself eating cereal and I was just like dad why did you do that <laughs> and he's and he said that I was like oh I've never seen myself eating cereal before <laughs> <laughs> you got a weird dad Which is, uh, he's, uh, he, he's, a, he's a visionary oh yeah. boy that was a, how to eat breakfast one yeah of the earliest movies but it, uh, it is like really basic stuff that you just like never ever see yourself yeah like, what you look like yeah. well and yeah and I, I just like the premise too of this particular one which is how to keep smoking it's not how to not how not to smoke right well I was trying to quit I was in in my real life I, I was I was like a pack a day and oh really I was, yeah oh, I, don't know I, I was I was a heavy smoker for a long time and um, I that would it every movie is is kind of this therapeutic process where I'm trying to work through the my psychology like you know my psychology and and and, and like try to try to make the most Pro smoking movie ever made to yeah. kind of like <laughs> pro- show myself how outrageous my behavior is. That's interesting. Yeah, so um, you can kind of step outside of yourself and be like, "Look at this woman on an app with a giant ass yeah, hanging yeah. off." How stupid <laughs> that is. Yeah. So, but that the smoking one took you about a year to make. Then, so you just have yeah. it in the back of your head the whole time, just like, and every time you saw like a smoking, funny smoking thing, you'd like pull your camera. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, there's like a very basic theme that to begin with, and then. Then it's also just like any other street safari stuff that yeah. that is just kind of a like really unique. I'll just throw I'll I'll, I'll reverse engineer jokes, yeah, yeah. you know. Right. right. Uh, yeah, and the, yeah, and New York is just. I mean, you're born and raised in New York, so you like you see this shit every single day. Yeah. Yeah. But the funny part to me is like when I first moved to New York too, I was constantly like observing weird stuff, and now it's kind of harder for me to do because I've been here for so long mm. but now now that's why it's interesting for me about you having grown up here is you still find things unusual and 
interesting and you it, know it's a real numbers game uh you know this, yeah the more time you spend <laughs> on the street you know th th this it's not like this is all i see you know right. this is this is uh uh yeah, a, a lot of time on the street where I see absolutely nothing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. right. But but sense. but you appreciate like misspellings and you appreciate like uh, yeah, signage bad signs. And okay, so uh, that's a se perfect segue to Jeff's birds. Jeff's birds. So yeah, this is a this is a video we found Jeff's and then a bad uh, the wrong uh, apostrophe. I don't know if you're a fan of bad apostrophes. But, uh, uh, I am. Our uh, our our audience is definitely aware of Jeff's birds. Do you have a? There we go. There we go. That's up there. You can see it. All right. Jeff's Birds. Jeff's Birds. And uh, so you guys have seen this before, but I'm going to show a couple other yeah, new I, scenes. Yeah, it's always worth revisiting. <coughs> there's a couple scenes that you oh, haven't okay. seen here, so Great. it'll be fun for you, too. But a there's, uh, I'm going to from... go to the, yeah, yeah. So this is a guy, he went out with his camcorder. It reminds me of the way that you shoot, actually. Mm -hmm. And he went over to his buddy's Jeff, his buddy Jeff's place, and Jeff supposedly has a bunch of birds. And you very rarely see any birds, and I think you <laughs> might see Jeff in this clip, oh, but yeah? it might not be Jeff. Okay. So there, you might not see any birds, you might not see a Jeff, but it's still called Jeff's Birds. And this guy, I don't know what his accent is, like maybe like Boston or something? I think Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah. Massachusetts. And uh, he's talking to, to nobody, really. He's talking to the camera the entire time. And he narrates, and then he sees a rabbit, and he sings a song to the rabbit. So that's the scene we're going to watch. And then we're going to watch a scene after that that you've never seen that I'm excited to show you. Okay. We're, ties back into what we've already seen. He wants to know why he ain't off, though. Okay, there hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't want to miss a single <laughs> second. Of, uh, <laughs> Jeff's bird. Jeff approaching the rabbit. Oh, it's not Jeff. Guy yeah. Sorry, not Jeff. Jeff's he's bird. Jeff's tight. friend. He wants to know why he ain't off, though. Yeah, come up in front, Bunny. Hey, uh, hey. You're a little girl's every dream. <laughs> Boy, they love bunnies. Boy, they love bunnies. A rabbit. Listen to this. Here comes the Easter Bunny hopping down the trail. Hippity hop, don't stop. I got your Easter eggs. <laughs> yeah. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> All right, no, around to the car. Oh, there's no. a great scene here. New footage. Yep. Clearly wearing flip flops too. <laughs> <laughs> did, did this have a? He yells to Jeff here. Listen to this. I think it might be Jeff. Let's get know. a shot of this truck. I like this truck. Well, my battery's almost out. Battery? Hey, what a good shot of truck. This truck's awesome. <laughs> oh, easy to kill him. The guy almost broke his wing, never mind my lens. Uh, you got Pete all up tight. He didn't appreciate bouncing off the camera. There's <laughs> <laughs> a great line coming up. That was exclusive. Hey, is it okay to go in the condo with a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay to go in the condo with a cigarette? Jeff's trying to stay focused. He's uh Yeah, so that's uh, it. That's it. Uh, right. Go in the condo with a cigarette. <laughs> He's he polite, didn't, though. He yeah. didn't get an answer either. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he does go into the condo. The condo is a, a pigeon condo, I guess oh, they call it. That's the uh, a bunch of pigeons live in there. And I couldn't tell if he was smoking in the in the condo or not. But it's mostly boring, but like you get some, some glimpses of Yeah, I, I I've looked through a lot of stuff like that. Like some of the stuff I get on Craigslist, I got this entire archive of family movies, like all like uh, hi, uh not high uh, VHSC tapes. Oh. Like a huge library. And I was digitizing every single tape, watching these kids grow up, like <laughs> go on vacation, yep. to take baths and stuff like that. I start to feel really perverted. Yeah, it, uh, it feels gross sometimes. It feels really yeah. gross. Like just looking for some some something I could possibly cut together. Yeah, but there was. Absolutely do you still have nothing. all those? I do. Yeah, I have. They're usually just really boring, right? Yeah, there's, yeah. they're really Opening boring. Christmas it's just presents. like Did hours of them just hanging on the pool. Yeah. Um, we have one that was called uh, uh, 1991 uh, Little Girls Getting Their Ears Pierced. And it's these little girls, and you do actually watch them grow up, but you do see them get their ears pierced at the beginning Extreme. of the video. And that's the only, it's the only interesting part of the whole thing, but <laughs> it, it does make you feel weird that you're yeah. watching little girls scream in pain. In pain. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, I want to show another one of your clips. Um, this one okay. is uh, how, to live, uh, how to Live with Bed Bugs. Is that right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so... The scene I'm going to show, so you actually had bed bugs, and you decided to document the whole thing, which is brilliant. 
Uh, yeah, it's it, it's it's usually something that people try to brush under the rug and and try not to talk about. But I feel like I, I noticed that there was a you know there was a uh, there was a market. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, no one had really made the definitive bed bug movie yet. Like no. what it's really like. Yeah. You know, I bet like, it spoke yeah. to a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah people t people message me all the time. They email me asking, like you know, I will be the one person they confide in. Um, you know. Yeah. Be because they can't talk to their friends or any you know coworkers about it. You're a pariah when you when people find yeah. out you've had bad it, luck. It's just like watching this film makes you feel dirty. Like just, yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah. It, it was a filthy time in my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm going to show a clip uh, after once once the exterminator gets there. It's it's after we start with the exterminator and then we go with what you have to do with your cat. So oh sure sure. Starting there. Uh, this is for uh, the city for the rest of the afternoon. Um, although we should be done in about 15 minutes. So now what you got to do is figure out something to do with the cat. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna put her in a box and bring her to a coffee shop um, and and order a order a cookie. Uh, and this is a great way um, to meet women until you tell them why you have your cat with you. Uh, so once you return to your apartment, reset everything. Um, <laughs> Lay down, uh, take off your shirt, and relax. Because this is one of the only moments where you will feel truly accomplished during the next few months. Because this process will continue until you are uh, completely broken. Yeah, oh, God. Oh, that's true. It's just harrowing. Oh, it just makes me tired watching it. And everybody's yeah. sleeping on that couch, too, because that's probably the only thing that doesn't have bed bugs, right? No, the couch had bugs, too. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I had a bit of a scare. I was in a hotel um, last weekend, and it was the only one that was, um, oh, I didn't tell you this, but in Indiana, there was a, uh, just needed a few hours of sleep before my flight, and there, couldn't find a hotel that was available, so I found the cheapest one, mm. and it was $40, and I went in and undid the uh, mattress to sleep on, and there was blood stains all over the pillows. No. Oh, no. So I did the thing where, I've done this in the past, but used dirty clothes as sheets, you know, on top of their sheets, because I don't trust them. <laughs> but still cleaner than their but, sheets. Yeah, and the yeah. whole time I felt things crawling on me, but I oh. think it was psychosomatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, but ever since then, since I've come home, if I feel something itchy, or in, in bed, I'm like, did I bring bed bugs here? And I, I don't think so. How long did that whole process take of you like having the bed bugs, getting rid of them? Because you actually just moved, right? We moved. We had, a, yeah. we probably had about four or five exterminations over oh. the course of six months or seven months. Um, and that's yeah. not counting. Like, this is the just shit this that is just bought. a fraction of yeah. it. Oh. This is this is all the only stuff I had the energy to shoot. Yeah, um, it's almost like having a house fire though, because you have to like get rid of all your shit. Because I asked you if you had VHS, but you're like, I lost it all in the bed. Well, you, I was getting rid of things piecemeal, like piece by piece, just like this is too difficult to inspect or to clean. I'm gonna get rid of it. I I, I can't I can't own anything with 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 like with insides that I can't inspect. Yeah. Um. So I got rid of all that stuff, but then at the end of the day. The solution, which I recommend to everybody, is to there's this, I, we went to this place in Red Hook where they you put all of your stuff into a you know a truck and they gas it overnight and every you can keep all your stuff as long as you drive it straight to your new place that doesn't have bed bugs. Right. Um, but I I, th I think uh, we were at McKibben in in Bushwick, which was a, a notorious um, kind of landing pad for a lot of irresponsible people and. Um, the place just had a new, new it's just had a terminal infestation. There, you, there was just no fixing it. Uh, you yeah. might be able, you might be able to do some over the counter shit with like, if you're if you have like a normal building, but this building was yeah. like beyond. Would you was, would they just be saving. caked underneath the the mattress, or were they always just hidden? You could just never see them. They're just in the walls. Every, they're, everything was so porous in in that whole building. Yeah. You just there was there was there was no way to seal up every single, you know. And so you'd wake up with bites, and they'd be crawling on you at night. Yeah, and the fear never leaves. Oh. Uh, I still, oh. I still, I will never not think well, about that. You get that. like PTSD from it. Yeah, it's it's so scarring. I mean, cockroaches are a fact of life in New York, but that there you can kind of live with them. I have cockroaches can, right now. Yeah, you can cohabitate it, with it, them it, just It is fine. like, I feel like a fucking Joe's apartment, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> you like, make a truce. It's just like, okay, this yeah. is, like, I could deal with anything. Like, right. any rat, I would, I would live with a... 
a dozen uh, rats before us. How do you uh, not move from the city after, after that? Like, how do you <laughs> still live here? Do it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because uh, I had to keep making movies. Yeah, yeah. there's too much. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to play. Um, well, why don't you play that? I mean, I was going to play a cat video to kind of. Uh, oh, sure, go ahead. Cleanse Cle the palate. Yeah, cleanse a the palate with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. Because you're a cat man, obviously. Yeah. Was that man. baby in that? You that was you baby. Said, okay, you said in your email that baby was yeah, a cat. Yeah, I still have baby. Yeah. That's when she was a kitten, huh? That was when she was a kitten. I have her name. Oh, yeah. Tattooed right here. I don't know if you can see. Oh, nice. How'd you? No, no sleeping uh, <laughs> Wait, wait. Um, we can't really zoom no, in. No, we can't that. zoom in. Do you have a, a, yeah. mag a magnifying glass? Uh, Take a word for it. It's baby written. Is that like a homemade tattoo? Yeah, uh, just a stick and poke. Oh, really? On, uh, yeah. <laughs> Is I, it, a, I like it. How'd you do it? Just ink in like a needle. And you just jab it in underneath your skin. Yeah. It stays there. Oh. You never. I've heard of it. Like, that seems like, like a professional yeah. job. I've heard, like, yeah, these were professional. Yeah, I've heard like, for some like prisoners do it that way. Right? Yeah. yeah, real prisoners. Yeah. <laughs> prisoners with cats. Uh, here's Show cat the cover of this one, oh, too. Yeah, yeah. Here's cat is, entertainment. Uh, yeah. If you can... George, can you get... Okay. That's, that's called Oh, Those Crazy Cats. Uh, and the news show, it's like a news show called Cat Entertainment. Uh, you've probably seen it before, right? I was I was watching some stuff of, that you guys were showing recently. I watched the Pet Puri thing. I have not oh, seen yeah, it, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is, is yeah. great. Okay. Um, so this is like a, a news show that I think the ASPCA put out. Okay. If you're and a fan of entertainment, you'll love cat entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm just showing the intro for it, so they kind of go over the segments. That <laughs> the solid intro. Welcome to Catertainment, the show that unlocks the secrets of your cat's behavior. I'm Vicki Smithers. And I'm John Westerby. Today's video is appropriately titled, Oh, Those Crazy Cats. As any cat owner or cat lover can attest, our feline friends can be pretty crazy at times. But what's behind this behavior? Why do cats dart about, sleep when we're awake, scratch, spray, ignore you one moment and crave affection the next? Today we'll also reveal some secrets to changing unwanted behavior and show how you and your cat can gain more enjoyment from one another. We'll be looking at the history of cats. <laughs> we'll talk with a veterinarian who'll unravel the mysteries of cat behavior. We'll be visiting cats with famous owners. And we'll be hearing from Dear Tabby, a regular cat entertainment feature that answers letters from cats and their owners at the end of their rope. And there's even more. Stay tuned for several catnip tips on the care, feeding, and well-being of your cat. Let's get the show rolling with a musical and visual salute as Catertainment presents 4,000 Years cats of Cats. Need to be saluted. Two minutes. <laughs> it was 4,000 years ago. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> yeah. wow. um, wh who do you think the celebrity cat uh, owner was in this? Uh, uh, this is from like 1991, I want to say. Yeah. Ron, 1993. Ron Howard, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> good guess, good guess. Sally Jesse Raphael. Yeah. Sally Jesse Raphael. You remember her? Uh, she had that talk show, the daytime talk show. She had red glasses. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's cat entertainment. That's the best they could get. Yeah. You know, cut them some slack. God, imagine <laughs> moving to L.A. and that's what you end up doing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, try to make it in the cat entertainment industry. <laughs> I wonder if John Westerby still puts that on his resume. Do you think he put cat entertainment on his resume? No, I think that's long resume? gone, yeah. yeah. Um, I wanted to show you another thing sort of in the vein of uh, home movies, just shooting what you see. And this one is from a guy, I can't remember his name, but he had a cable access show where he would, we have eight hours of footage of home movies of this guy telling people about this thing he's found that he calls The Club. And uh, what it is, is it's a piece of driftwood that he found, but he's convinced it's that- It's a stick. It's a stick. <laughs> okay. But he is convinced that it's a prehistoric stick that cavemen used to club things and that's how it's so worn out. And he's become convinced of this and is trying to convince people in bars and stuff. He even has made his own sheath to protect it. And the entire eight hours of footage is all about this club. Oh, wow. So uh, it, was, it was from North Carolina, yeah. I think. And uh, yeah, we played it once in North Carolina and a, a, the bartender came up to me and he's like, me and my buddies used to stay up late watching this guy's show, yeah. all about yeah. the club. Our buddy so. Skip in North Carolina gave us the footage, so here's yeah. a little bit, our cut down of the club. With this thing, Skip, I'm going to take the club, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the club right here. Great accent. Sash is pretty, pretty cool. But this thing character. is priceless. Yeah. My hands are pretty clean. I ain't got my socks right now. Who's here it is. Usually, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not get oil in the socks. Here it is. I didn't go out hunting it. I didn't go out looking for it. I don't even hardly believe it's still myself, but right here it is. 
Let's go worldwide TV. Forget cable. Forget national TV. Let's go worldwide satellite. It's a trip. <laughs> it's a that trip. club's plum awesome. The club's plum awesome. It's plum awesome. <laughs> plum awesome. Is that it? It's plum awesome. <laughs> what do you think about the club? Took it to a bar. I think the club is actually used to love them. But sometime, a period of time, another. Where did this come from? Right. You can tell it's been held. I mean, it's obvious. Is it not? I it's mean, obvious. I don't know where you play pool, but around here they won't let you use those. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want to come back here and make a comment? It's, it, it can't be much more than five, six, seven years old, man. <laughs> You know, so it would slip off his hand. Right, I'm talking about this right here. Wait, yeah. what, what's on your hands, man? I got to be, be careful what's oh, on no. your hands. Yeah. Uh, uh, be careful with so Just last idea. night, I was documenting the boys around the pool table and all. And that one boy, he'd give it six or seven years old. Hands are clean. I checked in. Oh, that yeah, boy William. tried to put his hands all over last night. This? Yes, eight hours. Uh, told him to watch that, you know. Sitting here watching a wildlife picture. It's a little distracting Might here. Start thinking that this old boy ain't so crazy after all. <laughs> Who, Mo? <Those> crazy <laughs> stooges. <laughs> crazy stooges. <laughs> Something about that club. Something about that old bat. This thing is just simply amazing. The uh, thing is simply that. awesome. But this thing is just simply amazing. It is simply <laughs> awesome. This thing is for real. I'm telling you. It's simply amazing. <laughs> it is plum simply awesome. It's simply, I can't get over that handle. It is plum simply awesome. <laughs> you know? Plum simply awesome. Well, I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to the interview. Yeah, and William Stephen. I can't wait to yeah, amaze your eyes. <laughs> I'm serious. I can't wait, wait to what? amaze your eyes. I'm <laughs> serious. What does he want to hear from you? I think he just wants people to write in, and uh, I don't gotta, know, actually. George, you got to get on that. George yeah. is our, George is our uh, resident sleuth here, and uh, tracking down we got to track down William Stevens. Yeah. It's a very common name. It's probably going to be tough. Is but, he ever, uh, his is address there, is there. Ever any mirror shots or anything? You never really see him. That's the thing. It's like a first-person video game. It's kind of, but it's about a stick that he's yeah, found. That's you know, my he's not, oh, yeah, that's Yeah. I haven't watched all eight hours, either. Like, I want to so bad. Yeah. You have it all, I did right? go through all. all I went through, went through it all, yeah. Yeah. And to put that together. Uh, there's a lot more. He goes to talk to somebody at the University of North Carolina about it. And I mean, yeah, it's a, it's. Let's a, pump some people it's, Let's pump some people There's no other way to say it. That's the best <laughs> plum <laughs> plum <laughs> phrase. I'm serious. I wanted to play one um, other clip from a movie uh, that's a little bit different. It's it's less of a, uh, I guess, handheld verite kind of shot. But it's, it's a, is it how to... It's reality TV school, is that the name of it? Oh yeah, how to act on reality TV. Yeah, can you get set it up a little bit? Yeah, I just I, I, I found this guy on the internet who who ran a reality TV school where he teaches non-actors how to act on reality TV. Uh, and when I called him, it was kind of, it actually wasn't active anymore. So he got some people that had already taken, we, we together got some people that had already taken the class to come and redo the intro class, and then I found half the other ones. Uh, I got the rest off Craigslist. Just the first people that responded, I just told to come, and those a lot of them were the most interesting ones, like the the blind singer. Oh yeah, and, oh, yeah. And the um, and uh, the guy, the homeless guy who uh, oh, right. who had the weird hat. Yeah, yeah. That lived near the, the Jesus the hat. Burning Man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Burning Man guy. Yeah. Uh, well, the clip I'm going to show is that you get to see that he's kind of just converted. A, it must have been a store or something that he. He lived. He, he lived uh, above. I don't know if he still oh. does. He lived above the store, and yeah. it was just vacant. Got so, it. Oh, so they let him come that. in and they let right. him take it over for an afternoon. All right. Yeah. So it's DIY reality. How to be on reality TV? Here's just the first minute of. It. <laughs> My name's Robert Galinsky, and I'm the founder and principal of the New York Reality TV School. I started the school when a dog groomer asked me if I could train him for reality television, and I thought, sure, when, when, one of my mantras in life is say yes to everything. So I said <laughs> yes. He went to Hollywood, and I realized then a light bulb went off in my head. I got something to show the world, and that is teach people how to be more of themselves 
in reality television as to opposed to being somebody else. I love the sweat lines. <laughs> um, I want to I want to learn how to bring my best acting side out. You know, I'm so used to being Shannon all the time, 24 hours a day, and it's awesome. But it's like you know, I want to learn how to be someone else at least temporarily while I, while I do that, and maybe it, maybe it'll give me some versatility to my personality. You know, I don't know. Everything um, you do today, I'm gonna coach. So get rid of I guess. Don't guess. Don't well, I, I'm not really acting. I'm just more or less talking. But this, thank is you. The, this is reality. We're not acting. True. Right? Look at that. Look at that sign on the wall there. That word actor is crossed out. No acting. All real. <laughs> got, got any <laughs> questions? Yeah, that, sign, <laughs> that sign should have the answer for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it, it was very strange. He's a, he's a really savvy guy, but yeah. when I sent him that, that movie, he was just like, uh, what did he say? He was like, oh, like, basically like, oh, great, like, raw footage. I can't wait to see what the... Oh, like, really? What, what, the, what the actual what the slick, episode looks yeah, like. Yeah, he probably thought it was like, going to be a lot slicker, right? I was like, right? no, actually, this is, this is exactly how I want it to right. be. Right, <laughs> right, exactly. There's so many cringe-inducing moments in that. Just like when the, the blind woman goes into the grocery store and starts singing, yeah. I just... Oh, uh, I just it, tensed up. During, oh, it was it was rough. In, it was in, hard to in, watch in person too. Yeah, I bet. And the guys trying to pick up women in the park and like it's it's yeah. Uh, and I like how at the end the guy who teaches the class he does a confessional. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, the ending. Yeah, quick. and and he asks himself the question: How many of these six uh, could make it in reality TV? If you want a number, you want names, uh, all six. <laughs> all six, actually. <laughs> just kind of, it's like they have a hundred percent success rate in that class. Um, yeah. Um, so, so anyway, that's another type of movie that is on your. It, it, we should mention that on Vimeo, you can find John's movies. A lot oh of these yeah. Are on there. Yeah, they're all so, on yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And Those, then there's one that you you weren't able to show that you can't show to anybody, which is a cry and shame because it's so good. Yeah, I sent it to you guys. Can you talk about it? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I uh, I showed it at a couple of festivals, but I started to get cease and desist letters. Really? Um, from who? From from the the court guy show? who I was trying to sue. Oh, that Not guy. the court show. Oh, the court show didn't care. Mm. No, yeah. no, no. From from my, my former client, uh, okay. he caught wind that the movie existed. So set it up. Like, did, tell tell what the story. I I, I basically yeah condensed version. I I I uh, was hired to make some fashion video for someone I didn't know very well. He hated what I made so much that he refused to pay me. Uh, so I tried to sue him on court TV, but he refused to go on court TV with me. So I basically... Hot Bench was the show. Hot, yeah, the show yeah. was called Hot Bench. So I got my friend to basically play him, uh, not by name, but just like uh, the whole story. We basically had... You used a, a different name than the actual a, guy. Well, my friend Clark, it, yeah. it was his actual name. But yeah, we didn't use the actual guy's right. name. And we basically reenact, we, we, we relived the entire experience of making the fashion video so that it, so, so that it wasn't actually fake. The, ca the case wasn't actually fake. Right, right. Uh, so, so, and then we went to, uh, and then we got on the show and uh, I wore like hidden cameras while I was on the show. And um, yeah, there's like a, there's a whole bunch of crazy shit that happened. But yeah. um, I ended up winning the money. And that's what's great about going on Court TV. If you ever want to sue somebody or even a friend, uh, like if you sue each other yeah, for a thousand should. bucks. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Can we idea. copy that idea? Can we actually do it? <laughs> I'm not the first. I won't be the last. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. We got to do that. Let's go on to Court TV and sue sure. each other for something. Yeah. If you if, right. if you if you want like a thousand, two thousand bucks, just you just got to know what they want to hear. Right. Oh, and th they pay you a thousand. Yeah. So just to be so on the show. if if you lose, right. You know you you don't have to pay them a thousand dollars. Right. They that's pay, not binding. They pay it. Yeah. Oh, they, they pay, pay it for you. Just for you. Oh. And you like both get appearance fees. fees. I oh, see. really? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, All right. Well, that movie needs to get released. So we were broke yeah, when yeah. we did it, which yeah. is why <laughs> yeah. this, it was actually practical. Right. Like, yeah. we were doing it because... We, and I, I thought the funniest, well, not the funniest, but one of the funniest parts was that all these things are like Judge Judy's tackling New York. It's New yeah. York City, and then it's all shot in L.A. You yeah. have to fly from the actual New York to go to the fake Yeah, it's New all York. about Judge Judy cleaning up New York. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and the hot bench has, like, the Brooklyn Bridge yeah. in the background. Yeah, it's like, it's like why? No, it's not, it's not even close. You had to fly 2,000 miles to go shoot <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah, anyway. Uh, okay, this one. Yeah. I want to play this one, uh, How to Remain Single. Oh, good, it's, a, sure. it's another great one. Um is it uh, so? Um, it's your tips on how to remain single in New York City. I assume that you were probably going through like dating at the time. You were dating, looking for. I had been single for 
close to a decade at that point. Yeah. And um, I was I was getting really upset, and um, then I made this movie, and then I, right when I finished, I catapulted into a healthy uh, relationship. Nice. Which is now over. Uh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> well. But now I you know. I'm Way to find the dark lining on every <laughs> yeah. on every story. There's a. <laughs> but you know, so I I feel like I'm 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 kind of back in this mentality here. Oh there great. Are two this moments I, I I wanted to there are two moments that I just I really wanted to show. I decided to show well, the one I wanted to show first was uh, when you go to the STD clinic. That's oh, a sure. classic scene. Right. I decided I opted for the one where you go to the Upper West Side to get a bunch of. Um, uh, beauty pageant videos because it has VHS and it's a VHS show. Yes, so yes, I figured yes. that felt. And I haven't seen this one. You haven't so seen this no, one? Oh, I'm excited. It's so good. Okay. And okay, so it's just finished talking about how uh, getting a motorcycle uh, will help you, might uh, help you. Might help you be alone. Might help oh. you be alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and if that doesn't improve your game, uh, <laughs> you can always watch uh, beauty pageants. Uh, and to get a deeper understanding <laughs> of what makes someone truly desirable. Uh, if there aren't any playing on TV, you can do it the old-fashioned way and check on Craigslist. <laughs> see if anyone's getting rid of their collection. Fortunately, you find uh, an old beauty queen that is getting rid of her archive, and she lives on the Upper West Side. So, many. so you're going to go up wow. to 108th Street and Broadway, and you're going to visit her apartment, um, and you're going to take them back home. And, and look through the tapes. One of the uh, steps. And I usually like to start with the teens. Um, this is a great way to study the opposite sex in the privacy of your own home. This should get you used to rating people that you see out in public based on uh, fitness, style, and their uh, ability to answer brief, uh, irrelevant questions. And after studying your entire catalog of pageants, yeah, you should be ready to take this mathematical approach to dating to a place that already has these numbers generated for you on the internet. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so good. Then you'd launch into internet dating and just, oh man. It's yeah. So, good. Uh, so, what was that woman like who had all the tapes? She was really sweet. Yeah. Um, she was a former beauty pageant winner. Yeah, that moved from California to the Upper West Side and just her apartment was too small for all these tapes, which I still don't fully understand. I mean, like, my apartment isn't like, that big, but I could still. Well, also, if she has no use for it. Like, what's she gonna do with them? I know. I mean, and nobody has a VCR. But it, the, 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 it was just like the collection had just been snowballing since the '70s, I guess, and like they were just all they all and had it landed at you. Land, <laughs> like and, that, yeah, yeah, finally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like ten years single, just had bed bugs. Uh, it went to the hands of so many like beauty contest winners or something, right? Yeah. And then it, it landed on your doorstep. Wow. <laughs> uh, and did you still have yeah. those tapes? Well, you brought a couple. Oh yeah, here. Yeah. You want to pop these in or? Uh yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, here I, um, the Miss Teen USA took a strange turn in, in the two thousands. <laughs> the, the did you the, watch all of them? I watched. A lot of them. I try. I was trying to digitize them and put them on YouTube, but I kept getting copyright notices, and they kept getting taken down. Oh, oh we'll yeah. probably get one of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah and Story of our life. So I. But then I realized that someone had already put most of them on the internet oh. anyway. Yeah. So it was just redundant. All right. Okay. Um, but yeah, the like the 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 Miss Teen USA used to be kind of more elegant in like the seventies and eighties and nineties, like Dick Clark was hosting it and right. stuff like that. But. When 2001 hit, I think this was pre-9/11, like right before 9/11, um, because I can't imagine them doing this right. post-9/11 <laughs> <laughs> or like or having this kind of energy. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, many more, and, and whatever yeah. his name is was the host. And this is probably what caused 9/11. This, yeah, right? and this. Yeah. <laughs> I stole George's joke, so this is yeah, fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll take credit for it. Um, all right, what are we watching? Oh, we're watching Miss Teen. The most beautiful teens in America will be competing for yeah. one title. And yeah, you know, it's awesome like the most beautiful right, teams. Yeah, yeah. like it's just yeah. it's, it's, it's so crazy. Do they still do this? They the money is out of it. They do it in like I, I feel like they do it in ho like in in, in hotels now. Life. Not like it's, it's not it's televised. Not that I've seen. So I, mean, I, I, I haven't had cable for a while, but I can't imagine. Th this is like grant. This is like the Oscars, you know, kind of kind of like production value. Yeah, budget. But they had this really wild. Like performance at the beginning of every pageant. Um, was that the neon we saw in the back of uh, with Dick Clark? Oh wow! It's gritty. Fast cutting. Yeah. 
handheld. You know, a lot of role play. <laughs> Danielle Smith, Alaska. Elizabeth Arnold, Arkansas. A lot of Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, it's like they're in a back alley right now. Yeah, it's like the Ninja Warrior set. Like, yeah, but it gets really like intense at one it's point. It's like post-apocalyptic and <laughs> it's going on. But they always have these weird choreographed things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, all I want to say, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. The... Why are we on scaffolding? <laughs> Yeah. Are you sure this wasn't during 9 11? Yeah, I mean, this is. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. It looks uh, like the ruler. We have, yeah, we're going to have to. World uh, Trade Center there. We have to take a break from our. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, there. there's some gold in there for I sure. I don't know. A, a yeah. lot of tapes. it. You must have like 50 tapes or so, right? Here's just what some of the labels are like. Here's Miss Teen USA 2001. Here's 2004. Yeah. So, I, I mean, boxes camera. and boxes of that. Yeah. I would have um, brought more, but it's. There it is. Yeah. There we go. There's some of these there. tapes. Um, okay, so I wanted to, uh, well, you know, I, we asked you beforehand, like, what VHS memories you said, and, you, and, you, and if you'd ever learned anything, and I, you said you learned about movies that were coming out. On VHS. On VHS, yeah. so it'd be like, coming soon on VHS. Yeah. And I just found one of those I thought I would share here. Oh, okay, cool. Vidmark is a classic. Uh... Also available from Vidmark Entertainment. Are you ready for a red hot new flick? It's called Motorcycle Sluts in Heat. Whew. Now there's a love story. Now oh, there's you an 80s stop. joke. <laughs> now, come on, this is serious. The tale of a small town boy. You remind me of a beastie boy. Nah! This big city stuff is all new to me. I can help you adapt. It's like Ricky Rock and Wizard. Wizard. I can yeah. make you feel like you've never felt before. <laughs> Ooh, I thought that before. She's I like it already. What did he get bigger? Grease too. Behind. Midnight. It's not the Magic. personal I like you fine. It's just that I got a little girl waiting for me back in. Ah, 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 ah. Kyle, my name is Kyle. I'm Nina. You stay away from those bimbos. You look delicious, Kyle. <laughs> for the excitement <laughs> of Tinseltown. I got a weird feeling about this. Beverly <laughs> Hills Van. I hate to break the news to you, but I think you're a vampire. I hate it when that happens. Beckoning to all of mankind. The name of the game is Satisfaction. Well, that, that, that sounds interesting. <laughs> it's time for your bath, Father. Oh, let's see my child. Beverly Hills. <laughs> yeah. Temptress. No! Oh, no! Oh. From the dark side. Yes! Yes! Now, the fate of society rests on the shoulders of one man. Wonder. If you can confront this lady vampire at time, perhaps the spell will be broken. What's left Excuse of the me. movie? Ow. Yeah. Then your friend will be left with nothing but a monstrous hickey. Ow. Oh, and I lent you my roller skates. Oh, gee, Russell, I feel bad enough already. Is that a stake in your pocket? Or are you just glad to see me? Ha ha, it's a stake! Oh, I love a crystal oh, tired of Yeah, hey, I can see that. Yeah. yeah, now just let some ancient vampire hooker try and pull a fast one on us, huh? I've never seen the I've never seen the censor that like Oh I did that. I did that. Oh, you did that? I've never seen a trailer with at noon. Yeah, honest. neither have I. Yeah. See, I'm entertaining. I had to blur out the with movies. Eddie Deezer. Oh. Just how stupid do you For... think I am? For the internet. And for the Tim internet? Tim Conway Jr. Tim Conway Beverly Jr. Oh. Bam. No sex is safe tonight. So that's one of the things coming is out it? on VHS. Should mm -hmm. I go right into the uh, last book? Yeah, did movie? you have anything to say about Beverly Hills? Yeah, I wanted to get your comment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't want to gloss over that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't wait to see the feature length. Yeah, yeah. tonight you're going to swing by the video store on the way yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we do have it. Yeah, the whole so movie up there somewhere. Yeah. They, they probably have somewhere in Sunset Park on, on one of those, oh, yeah, one yeah. Of those DVD stores. Yeah, there are still, still there. some that, that yeah. exist out there. Yeah, yeah. there are a few smut kind of depots yeah. over there. The um, last movie I wanted to show of yours, just a clip, is called How to Walk to Manhattan. Oh yeah. What was the genesis of this? You you lived in Brooklyn at the time, and yeah, I, I uh, you know, I was living uh, in a kind of a warehouse, and I just it, it was, the movie's just kind of about affordability in New York and uh, how far you kind of have to live from Manhattan, uh, and it's getting farther and farther, you know, for people 
Yeah, so you actually made the decision like, you're just going to take a camera and try to walk the distance. Right, I mean, the, the whole thing was based off, I found this one guy on YouTube, his name, I think his name is Frank Sharp, um, and I loved his entire, like, like, his entire collection of videos. He just took walks around these parks in Gwinnett County, Georgia, I think, mm -hmm. and they were so dry, but his editing style and the things he decided to comment on were just so amazing. Was and it kind of like the club? Or like kind of like Jeff's birds. Yeah, yeah, it's just thing. all first person PV, yeah, right. and yeah. it just it it really spoke to me, and uh, I I feel like I kind of studied it for a while, and a, a lot of the editing choices and the 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 dog stuff. Uh, yeah, was, I was gonna say you get you allow yourself to get distracted by a dog coming in. Right, he's constantly yeah. like misidentifying breeds and stuff <laughs> like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think you're like, oh, what a great. Yeah, is that guy on YouTube? Uh, yeah, look up Frank Sharp. Uh, Frank Sharp. It's 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 like, it's very s weird stuff, but it's it's some of my. You favorites. just stumble across it, just like. I f I, I forget how I yeah. found it, but yeah, okay. it, I think he had one video that had like a million views, and okay. the rest were like under. 300 or something yeah, yeah. like that. Well, I, if you'll forgive me, I took some liberties and I cut together just the parts where you get distracted by hydrating with ginger ale. Oh. So throughout, throughout <laughs> the movie, you are craving ginger ale like three times while on this walk. So mm -hmm. I cut those parts together. So here's your quest for ginger ale. Yes, we're going to cross over to Cow Avenue. It's a very famous street. I'm starting to get really thirsty, so I think I'm going to go buy a ginger ale. I'm going to go to this deli because it seems like there are a lot of options. <laughs> you can go for a Schweppes, but they only have Canada Dry, and that's okay. Pay for it and open it up outside and just take a big, hey doggy. Maybe that doggy's going to uh, ASPCA truck. It seems to be a very popular thing to do in Bushwick. When, we're done, when you're done with your ginger, uh, you want to put it in a recycling can, but since there is none, you can just put it there and hopefully you'll get the idea. This guy has the right idea. It's a great place to sit. <coughs> <coughs> Starting to get thirsty again, so it's about time to get another ginger ale. This is also the first time uh, I've seen the word Williamsburg. Walk in, buy another Canada Dry, crack another cold one. <laughs> it's hard it's to about to buy one me. last ginger ale yeah. before we hit that bridge. You're gonna buy, they don't have any Canada Dry, so you're gonna have to buy a Schweppes. <laughs> a Schweppes. <laughs> Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> that, that is the saga of the uh, ginger ales there. Uh, uh, I want to I wanna ask you, I read in uh, some magazine, filmmaker magazine, I think it was, that you worked at a as a uh, investigator. I, I, I worked for a private. Oh, investigator. you worked for a private investigator. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. had to shoot video of people, and that's probably you're saying like that's how you kind of got your style, right? I mean, like. Yeah, that radicalized me in in one way or another. Yeah. Um, it, it it definitely did something to me. Although the hours just watching people. Uh, doing really banal stuff, you know, you notice the little things that, like, yeah. that, uh, I don't know, like, like, going back to what I was saying, like, I, I wish that Or I, finding humor in, like, somebody, like, scratching their nose or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> tedium, like, I'm a big fan of tedium, too, like, I've, yeah, yeah. yeah. I but mean, you guys must have unlimited patience. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, so do you, and that's why I think we thought you might be a kindred spirit, so, yeah. Um, did you have anything else to? No, I was just okay. like so. But what would you have to do? Like, what was your job? Was to like, go spy on people or like? I was I was actually just ingesting like the video that I, I was not a licensed sorry, I was not a licensed uh, PI. This is uh, in Massachusetts. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you'd get like the hidden suitcase footage or the hidden tie footage and have to people watch going it all into a home depot well, probably like looking for hours salacious yeah. stuff. Yeah, and, and I would just have to handpick the stuff that we needed to send to clients. Okay. Um, but I also, I would also like cut my own little things out of it and like yeah. make my own little videos that I never like did anything with really, but I still have. See, wow. I love that. Um, do, you, do you still have them? Oh, I, I see do. Some of those. They're, they're, I mean, they're so legal. I mean, like it's footage, right? I mean, it's footage that people don't know they're on, and then like it's 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 it's, it's I I should probably just destroy it, <laughs> <laughs> just because it's 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 a real like I really shouldn't have been before doing you it. destroy it. Let us watch it okay. at least. Yeah. <laughs> um, and again, people can find you on Vimeo, uh, John's Movies. Yeah, somehow I got word. I got the domain name John's Movies. I know, I couldn't believe it. Com yeah. I was like, did you get that in like and .com? 1992 Oh, or you can go to John'sMovies.com? Yeah. yeah. John's oh. Movies.com. Oh, like, yeah, in like that. 20, 
up to up until 2012 or so, no one had taken that domain yeah. name. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Congratulations and, on and that. And you have Thanks. a secret thing you're working on now. You didn't even tell us. We you can't, have a, a can't top hear secret, about this. exciting project right now. Yeah, it's 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 very exciting. Uh, I guess uh, all I can say is that um, there's finally going to be some money involved in what I do. <laughs> there should oh. be. It's about goddamn time. We're waiting time. for that day, too. Yeah. 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 So maybe yeah. a bit more productive. Let us know how it feels. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it might be broadcast quality. Wow. Uh, yeah. so, wow. Uh, HD? It might, it might be in HD, uh, which may disappoint some viewers. Uh, but <laughs> I, 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 I promise you that the, uh, the, uh, the content hasn't changed much aside from that. Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, when that's good. all done or you can announce it, come back. We'll watch more of your movies, watch more of uh, your style stuff that we think you'd like. And uh, John's movie's on we'll the big screen. Again. Is that what we're talking here? Like, uh, we're talking like a... We, yeah. we, we can talk wow. after. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. IMAX. <laughs> yeah. Shot on the yeah. IMAX. <laughs> yeah, I'm shooting all this on 70 millimeter now. Yeah. <laughs> well, awesome. thank, thank you for coming on. We're going to go uh, have a Schweppes and, yeah. and share a butt uh, <laughs> outside. Throw away a ginger. No, John's yeah. movies. John Wilson, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having me. All right. Me. So long. This is fun. And there it was. What a guy. I mean, I feel like we made a new best friend for life. Oh, man. I love, I just, I just, I want to watch them all again. I know. And John was like, I could have done that all day. So yeah. hopefully we'll have him back. Oh, for sure. And yeah. that, that project he told us a little bit more about. It sounds super cool. He, he told us the details. It's top secret. Top but we, secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's, yeah. yeah. You're going to get to see more of John Wilson coming up very Definitely, soon. Definitely, in so. a major way. Um, all right. What do we want to promote? Oh, so uh, Gas and Fuel, we're going to put it up for Patreon. Uh, people, for, we're going to do the $5 version, we're going to do the 10 minute version for that, for $5. Oh, okay, Patreons. so yeah, the film we played at the beginning is five, we just played the five minute version, but we have Guess a longer, yeah. yeah, a longer 10 minute version. Yeah. And so if you're saying for $10 patrons, we'll put that up, or for $5 patrons? We talked about this. Yeah, I know. You're wanted, asking me. I am, because I don't think it was clear. So for <laughs> Then just say it. For $5 patrons, it's going to be the 10, 10 minute 10 version. 10 minute version. Okay. And then for for the ten dollar and up, it's gonna be the full like I don't, I don't know how long it is. It's like twenty two minutes or it's like twenty five. It's 25 probably minutes. too long. It's way too long. <laughs> See, that's the thing. We overwrote this thing. Yeah. And then and then we were just like if people. People didn't appreciate it on the same level that we appreciate because we watched McSee so many We're times. Mired in training so videos. like we spent way too much money to make a twenty two minute film, and then we edited it down to 10 minutes and we got into film festivals. Right. People were like, oh, that's palatable. People love fake training video, the idea of a fake training video, but then they're like, oh, almost a half hour. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I feel like if you're at the $10 level for Patreon, you can appreciate some tedium right. and some jokes that will fall flat. Yeah. And so you can see like the okay. full 22. We haven't shown that to many people either. No, so, no. Yeah. I haven't even seen it for years. So. And I feel like people will watch it and they'll be like, yeah, yeah, it's better that they cut it down. Okay. Yeah. But even if you're at but the base level. Very can... special $10 dollar people yes. can see that so okay uh, okay so oh but we wanted to end we have some time nice things, we're gonna yeah. end yeah we we're gonna end with some nice things we, i feel like we should you because there's so many nice things Nice things is the segment of the show where we show off nice things mm -hmm. and uh i feel like you mentioned this but john wilson has an eye for nice things yeah. on the street and um do you have anything well the, the nice thing that i'm I, I'm wearing my nice thing. Oh right, yeah, that's your uh, threadbare Newport Pleasure shirt. Yes, this yeah. is my. This is like number one. Well, it's not number one in my rotation, but it's been in my t-shirt rotation the longest of any t-shirt I've ever had. This one goes back to probably like 1996. Where did you get it? Do you remember? Uh, I think I got it at a uh, thrift store in Marshfield, Wisconsin, and it was brand new at the time. But like now, wow. I mean, look at it, like. Yeah. I, I don't know if you, you can, should like, be buried see. in that shirt. Oh, maybe I should. Open yeah. casket? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Put it in writing because yeah. your parents Hold on. Won't I just object. want people to be able to see, like, can you see? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You can bear? see your chest hair through that. Yeah, you can that. see my chest yeah. hair through it. And then, like, I don't know if you can see the back. Yeah, can there's you, really is, nothing is, to that. It, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like wearing air at this point. That's like, pretty great. You might as well so be good. shirtless. But it, whenever I take it off, I'm always worried because I don't want to rip it. Yeah. So I always take it off very delicately. That's an heirloom right there. It's like a spider web that I'm wearing. You hand that down to your. Cats or who? Yeah, I mean, other your <laughs> whoever you would hand that down to. <laughs> um, um, so I have another cigarette related niece nephew. thing. Niece and nephew. Yeah. So uh, I have another cigarette related thing because 
I love how to keep smoking. And so this one is... You love how to keep smoking? Oh, the, 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 the film. film we just oh, God, all yeah, watched yeah. together. So this is... Uh, we had a humor newspaper in, in middle school, and then we revived it in college, yeah. and then even after college, called The Daily Chimp. And we kind of took it in 1998. We graduated from college, and we decided to kind of like try to make money off it. So yeah. we got advertisers for it. And we had both written for The Onion. You were like a staff writer on The Onion. And yeah. so we thought, let's make our own version of that. And so we had this, uh, when we first started making money, we did this. We framed the first uh, camel cash we ever made. And it says May 1998. Yep. And that's uh, the incentive program that camel cigarettes have. Well, I can't believe you still have that. I still have it. It's hanging up in my home office. Oh, okay. So I brought it in today. What, I want to say, what does the camel cash look like? I... Yeah. So you'd get that, you'd buy a pack of smokes, and then the camel, ca like Marlboro Miles, you would turn it in yeah. for valuable prizes like a camel t-shirt. Well, oh, you got this professionally done too, didn't you? A duffel bag. I think I had a, I found a frame that was that size. Oh, it was like that. Okay. And then I printed it out. So okay. um, the other nice thing is a tapestry I found at a thrift store. Um, and this is related to the fact that we're in Scotland. So this is a Scottish souvenir oh, okay. you could get. And this is... Um, you can see it's a tapestry that's Pussy's Prayer. Oh, I'm doing it on the close-up camera, but I guess we don't need to. You can do it on either one. Okay. Nick is a sexual No, man. this isn't sexual at all. This is just a prayer of hey, two cats. Nick. Very, you read very into this what you want. Man. And then it says Scotland on the bottom. So this is your tea towel. This is It's not a tapestry. It's a tea towel that you would have in Scotland to wipe up your tea. Hey, and, Nick. And there's, wait, very, what does it say? There's nothing we can give to you, save love. Everything we have, comma, comes down from the heaven above. I know so what they're getting at that's there. That's the pussy's I know what they're getting at Nothing there. dirty about that. <laughs> it's just a tea towel. That's nice things, everybody. <laughs> ah, okay, let's, uh, let's end with this. Let's end with another short film. This is um, oh, yeah. very, the very first uh, film that I made out of college, like I, I think you were living in New York, I was in Minneapolis, and I was getting, I, I uh, was getting into Super 8 cameras. So I got a Super, I ordered it off of eBay. I got a Super 8 camera, and I was like, I need to shoot a film with it. So I shot a film in my, in my house, at the time, in my apartment at the time, and submitted it to film festivals. And I got into two film festivals. Which with ones? This. Were, do you remember which just ones? Just total bullshit. Yeah. Like scam, scam. Right. Northwest just, Dakota State International Film. Something Festival. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, they accepted my twenty-five dollars and said, "Yeah, you're in the film festival. Uh -huh. Congratulations." So <laughs> uh, I didn't attend any of the screenings of this, but it did get into two film festivals. And it's called Dallas, and it features my old cat Chum. Um, and so uh, it's all shot on Super 8, and uh, so I found a uh, one of those wind-up things that you would put into a um, one of those uh, like a music box. Music box. Okay. And it played the Dallas theme song. So the Dallas theme song is the theme to this of my cat doing something. Okay. So it'll be great. A I haven't seen this for a while. Um, all right, that's all. That's it. Uh, we'll be right back right after that. Thanks to John Wilson. See you next time.
When we return, Dr. Selner will complete the bunion surgery. Yes, those are his pajamas he's wearing.